Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. So this is going to be uh, the last episode when it comes to Health Cloud. I do understand that a lot of things you can talk about Health Cloud, right? But I just wanted to make sure, you know, I cover the necessary stuff, which, so you know, so that you can get, you know, started with the Health Cloud. So this, this is an interesting topic, what I wanted to talk uh, about in this episode. That is about intro uh, probability, right? My apologies if I, if I didn't uh, pronounce it correctly. So, uh, think about a scenario, right? Let me let me let me give you an, let me give you a story, right? Then we can relate to it, right? It's it's a very simple concept. Let's say you know a Charles Green, right? Charles Green is a pretty pretty great guy. So he is a member of say you know X Y Z Care Pro. Uh, he enrolled in X Y Z Care Program, uh, and then. You know they were taking care of him quite well then apparently you know one of the coordinator decided that he needs to be uh admitted to hospital for certain surgery right very cool, simple now electronic health record right it's one of the uh it's, it's a digital information about your health right which is what that means is that everything to do with your diagnostic, your medication, everything will be recorded in EHR, right? So the, obviously the care coordinator uh, will have access to that. Uh, let's assume a scenario where uh, the hospital maintains a completely different EHR. What that means is that they will not have access to the EHR which uh, your care coordinator will have access to. So what that will do um, say a nurse in a hospital will have to probably look at the EHR uh, report from um, the care provider and the e e EHR information uh, from the hospital. So that's not really great, right? So that's really not helpful because obviously, you know, if you're a nurse, if you're a doctor, they obviously want a seamlessly integrated EHR or a 360 degree view of a patient information, right? So that a doctor or a specialist or a surgeon can provide a valuable advice based on the information. But in the absence of that, you know, you know there could be a potential implication in in terms of you know Charles uh, Charles Green Health. So that's the reason why we're talking about the concept of three eyes, right? Uh, interface, integration, interoperability, right? Interface is like, you know, where you can see the information, right? Integration, where different systems get integrated. Interoperability, um, uh, parability, it sounds similar to integration, but it's not exactly the integration. Integration, what's the use of integration? Integrates different uh, systems, right? Bring the data together. But who gives meaning to the data? That's the interoperability will, uh, does that, right? Integration doesn't care. It's just, you know, connecting APIs, different APIs. You code it. You can display the stuff on interface. It's just the interoperability that gives meaning, right? That's great. Now, um, you might have heard about something called HL7, right? So let's look at that. It, this is just a theory, though. I'm not really going to. I just wanted to, um, you know, talk about you know, what does it mean and why it matters? Uh, you know, if you're working for a health, uh, you know, customer, then, you know, these things really don't matter unless you really started to understand the business process behind it, right? And it's always good to understand uh, the business process because it'll make you a better developer or an architect or, you know, whatever you're aspiring to be. All right, so... Data standards, right? Data standards, obviously, you know, in a health sector, we have something called HL7. It's a health data standard, right? We have HL7 message. Now, HL7 messages have different versions, right? Now, the thing is that, right, say, for instance, HL7B1 has to talk with another system which understand HL7B1. If you try to mix and match, right, let's say HL7B2, or HL7V3, it will not work because both the system will not understand, even though it is HL7 message, right? So you have to uh, remember that, right? Even though we have a data standard, the compatibility matters as well. And also the APIs plays a very important role. APIs are versions, right? Obviously, if you work with an API, right? Certain versions of API can do certain things. Um, so if you're um, 
uh, interacting with two systems, right? Or let's say three systems or 10 systems, right? That there is a very high likely possibility that, right? The Edge of seven message versions might be different in terms of acceptance or propagation, right? When that happens, right, there there is an issue, right? Because the systems will fail to understand each other. The whole concept of you know integration fails there. So that's why having a right data set, uh, data standard is important. But at the same time, it's very important to have the right compatibility among the data standards. I hope that uh, makes sense. Then we have something called um, FHR standard. These are health standard, right? I mean, I I dealt with HL7 a lot because even now when I do something, because we, you know, recently I got involved with one of the HL7 stuff. So I know HL7 quite well. Uh, so it's it's highly used. It's heavily used, though, whichever way you put it. And it's something as simple, uh, you know. So, you know, usually integration can grab it and propagate it. So that's, you know, one thing. Yeah. So that's something I wanted to talk about from a, a health cloud perspective. Now, if you are asking me from a certification point of view, right, uh, you can do certification, right? That's one thing. Uh, but for that, you need to uh, register for a created uh, program for Health Cloud. And then you can, I mean, it's pretty straightforward certification. It's not so complicated. People might tell you it's difficult. It's not really difficult if you know your topic very well. I mean, the thing with this uh, certification, right? One thing I observed based on my, you know, I, first of all, <laughs> I don't take too many certifications. Uh, the reason why the one which is really needed for my current project, I go for it, right? Because it's it's stay fresh in your memory and you can get to implement it, right? That's the best use of certification because muscle memory is important, right? Because if you if you take it right now, which is great, but then after a few months, if you don't use it, then you might forget about it, right? So that's why it's always good to, you know, um, take certification, which is a part of your project. The number one reason being you will get to learn more stuff. And number two, uh, you will have an opportunity to implement what you will learn, right? So that's, that's more important. Um, so yeah, that's and that's all I wanted to cover uh, as a part of Health Cloud. It's a pretty basic, right? I just wanted to make sure that I have something around Health Cloud. You know, people have been requesting me. So uh, I just wanted to do that. So I did. Right, and I hope you enjoyed it, and it will get you started. Right, although I appreciate I may not have covered a lot of things, right, but just from a general overview, understanding from an introductory perspective, this will do a pretty good job. Right, so that being said, hope you guys have amazing Thursday. Adios.